do we need a recap of what happened last time? Anybody feel like doing one? <clears throat> some some buggies, some little stick bug friends. Um, we took we saw the police. Um, a lot of us had some fun interactions, some not so fun. Um, there <laughs> was a little car. We met Knox. We met Detective Knox. Um, and he joined our little alien bug stick thing escapade, uh, <laughs> in his car. And what was her name? Marianne? Mm-hmm. Marianne. Uh, Marianne and the hotel lady. They're suspicious. I I think something's going on with them. They're highly suspicious. Um, they were giving Margot a bit of trouble, and uh, Margot was pretty pretty stressed out, running around trying to make sure these bug stick things were captured and brought back to Mrs. Vander. More. More. I want to say Vanderbilt every single time. <laughs> every single time. Um, so yeah, no, we got the, we got the stick bug back, we delivered it, uh, hotel lady still seemed very pressed with Margo, um, but, yeah, that's, that's why I mean, we successfully got the stick bugs back. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so yeah, you guys had a very scary first incident the night before this following morning, you guys had to go to the police everything that uh stevie has said has transpired and now the uh let's see the signals have been returned to mrs vandemore you all went to your respective places for a little bit but you all decided that you're going to meet up for dinner just to have like a little chat all together about what went down um and whatnot but before you guys have your separate dinners or together dinner was there something that you guys wanted to do separately individually um, I'm going to let you guys take a moment to think about that. Do that if you want to. Um, anybody want to go first? Anything that they think their character needs to do before they meet up with the group? <laughs> nope. I, I think Margot's is still pretty much at the mercy of... Knox because her best but I don't know if that's been taken care of so <laughs> that's true yes just, uh, just chilling the, I the think was being taken care of by Marianne technically she's supposed to chop that's off true. all stuff that's true is that what she Marianne dropped off your vest no the chop off no the it's foliage. still it would still be at Margot's house yeah. so Margot is still pretty much okay so you're chilling with Knox until yeah. till dinner. Okay, all right. Y'all doing anything particular, or did you just... Probably just having the chat where you talked about the things from the first episode, like the thing you guys went through, because he wanted that statement. So just that chat. Yeah, because Margo wasn't able to go to the police station. And since everyone decided on dinner, they got oh, coffee yeah. and had that chat. And was like, fine, we'll just wait till dinner to eat the dinner. Okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, well then, you know what, we'll hold that for a moment. Was there anything else someone else wanted to do? I'll have you have that chat together in a second, if you do. Uh, I was just gonna say, I think Holly is probably hanging out with Tracy at the moment. Probably maybe having a shot or two. <laughs> uh, and I think maybe, I think Holly's in like one of her moments where she's just saying random things to Tracy and it, probably Tracy's just like I've heard this story about magical rocks like 15 times already just keep going Holly so I think Holly's just having fun dancing and having a drink with Tracy <laughs> Tracy's letting it hell happen oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah mm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and then this one time back in Wyoming. Oh wow, what happened? <laughs> you know, I don't know. This guy told me this story about how he got lost and he thought he met Bigfoot. He swears by. It. He showed me a Polaroid photo of it, and it looks real. 
That's interesting. That's a great story. Yeah. Great story. <laughs> he even showed me like a piece of hair too. It was, oh, you know, it, it smelled funny, but I believed him. You I smell, think honestly, you smell that. You smell the hair, Holly. I, I wanted to make sure it was real. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> or a drink over here. <laughs> when you uh, turn, Tracy, uh, you see a figure at the the door of your of your club, uh, knocking on it, and you can see it's a familiar face. It's Ace. Perfect. You gonna let him in? Oh, he's coming in. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so. You open the door. Oh, that's so perfect. The song that I picked for you just automatically started playing anyway. I didn't even have to select it. It's like fate. Uh, <laughs> so uh, Ace comes in and typically, he, you know, he, he greets you with a smile, but he's a little, you know, his, his brows are furrowed a little bit and he's like, uh, hey, I've been, I've been looking for you all over town. Yeah, I think we need to talk. Can okay. we go back really quick? Yeah, no, I think I think that's best. Yeah, let's go. All right, Holly, honey, can you watch the the bar? I'll be right back. <laughs> All of my eyes will be everywhere. Ooh, I'm gonna regret that later, but let's go. <laughs> he follows you. He looks at Holly. He goes, up. "Make sure you lock that door." You got it. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking to me, Holly, but all right. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> no, he was he was talking to. He was talking oh. to Holly. Oh, he was? Oh, I yeah, know. Because you're not even in the room. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Holly is just... So, uh, you guys get to the back door. Um, he, I, I feel like you have benches back there for the girls when they want to get ready and whatnot. Yeah. So he's sitting down on the bench and he looks at you and he's like, you have something you want to tell me? Do you have something you want to tell me? Why are there... What's going on? I was approached by Elise today. Yeah, that's what I've... That's what I came to talk to you about, actually. Why... Why is there... Oh, I forgot what you did again. Why was the FBI sir, uh, questioning me instead of the regular officer? FBI, FBI, is that what she told you she was? Yeah, okay. Uh... Listen, I'm a little confused, Tracy. You say you don't want much part in what we got going on. But then you send intergalactic government to me. Me? You. You. She dropped Tracy Brown's name. Tracy Brown. Is that you? I was attacked by a giant bug the day before. And then... You want to talk to me about the bug instead of a bug? What? 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 What bug? Some some bug that doesn't like lemonade. I don't know. A bug that doesn't like. Oh, the, ooh, there's a couple of those. What? What did it look like? Uh, like a leech vampire. I, I don't. I have oh, no yeah. idea what it was. It was just something okay. out of everything. All right, you're talking about I like a croca. Oh, and then I get attacked by some weed plant. Do you want to explain this to me? Because I personally stepped away from this. And now... Okay. No, this is starting to make sense. So you got you got pulled in for questioning, is basically what you're telling me. Yes. First it was by an, an officer named Knox, and then all of a sudden he was kicked out by Elise. And Elise apparently knows Santana. So do you want to tell me what's going on here? I don't know what's going on here. Elise gave me a note to give to Santana. Santana wants to talk to you. Ah, uh, Santana. Oh, uh, okay. Do, well, does anybody else know? Was there other people with you? There is a couple more. Good four more. Five. One ran away. I don't know. There was five of them. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you know what? You're real funny, Tracy. You're real, you're real <laughs> real. You don't want so. to be involved. I do think so, because you say I you don't want to be involved, but look how wrapped up you're in it. So wrapped up in it. Come 
on, just join me. You think this is just you think me. I'm doing this by my own will? You think I you think I was just like, oh, let's let's just go to this hotel and fight a bug. I mean, honestly, Tracy, I feel like you can't help yourself. Wow. Okay. You can't. You always whenever you see somebody down, you wanna help out. I didn't volunteer for any of these trips. I was dragged. Didn't you go? I mean I know you. Well I gotta protect my girl, so I had to go. Okay. Alright. Listen, I'm not I'm not gonna at least it wasn't too hard on me, I guess. It was just wanted me to give a message to Santana. It's just very jarring. You know, their their energy is just a little weird, you know. Yeah. Well they uh, here so but i i can't i can't stop santana santana's gonna want to talk to you <sighs> yeah i figured once elise mentioned her name uh on a other serious note i have a lead on something you've been looking for someone you've been looking for for a minute Did you, um, it's about Beatrice. Is this a real lead this time? I think it's a good one. All right, you know how she was down by the piers often. I, I found a working girl. She knows, she said that she knows what's going on with Beatrice. Okay, how do I get to talk to this lead is there a way uh yeah um well it's just about making sure you catch her at the right time uh her name is paris she's down by the piers next to the the harbor all right what is the right time what do you mean like i, mean, I don't know whenever people I then why are you she's a working girl you know, uh, seven seven p.m two a.m I don't know. Whatever you want to go down there. This is the worst possible lead ever. I did. I, at least it's a lead. I, th that's, a that's true. I, I do thank you for that. Okay. I'll figure out I'll figure out a way to communicate. Paris, you said? The name's Paris, yeah. Alright. Alright. I guess. Thanks for the help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, th thank you for the trouble. <laughs> He's gonna get up there. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. I owe you a drink next time. Three. One. Damn. You're not even going to bargain? No. Okay. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. And he walks out That's the room. <laughs> he walks out. Okay. Yeah. Um, All righty. So... Was there anything else you guys wanted to do? You guys good? Perfect. Anybody else want a moment? No? Okay. So, I'll say, uh, let's see here. We'll have it light. Okay, we're gonna go across town. You guys said that you wanted to go to a coffee place, or did you want to go to, like, a restaurant? What you guys feeling, Knox and Margo? Well, if we're going out to dinner to discuss it all with the group anyway, we could probably Perfect. talk on the way there instead of going Yeah. Home. I think this last time we said we were going to go get food, but then we were like, we're all meeting up tonight anyway, like the same night after everything. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're speeding yeah. uh, forward to that point. Um, yeah, so, you, so we could be like... We can also talk about it in the group. Yeah, it's whatever talk about it's, everybody else. It's whatever Knox wants, because Margo's... Then he'll just wait if everyone's going to meet up anyway. He could just get everyone's account. Okay. So. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, so we go across the town. Um, it's going to be on the outskirts of the town. Uh... We'll say it's a diner. Uh, it's a restaurant that's pretty quiet on the outskirts. Not many tourists are in that area. 
they can't really find this place without a recommendation from a local. Um, they, let's see. Oh, sorry, I thought someone said something. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's um, owned by an uh, older man. His name's Giovanni. Uh, and when you walk in, let's say Knox and Margo are the first ones to walk in. Uh, no, it's owned by Mario. Sorry. There's a there's a patron there named Giovanni that's always sitting there. Uh, they're best friends. Uh, both very, very old. Um, and uh, as soon as you walk in, Mario looks at you guys and goes, Hey, uh, take a menu. Find a booth. Sit down. I'll be with you in a moment. Thank you, Mario. Oh, my God, mm. I love you. Oh, Margo. Hey. Thank you, Ma yes. Sorry, Hi. I had chicken grease on my, on my glasses. I couldn't see. Oh, hey. You know. Hi, work is work. How are you? It's good. It's good. You know, it's a little busy. Uh, I'll, I'll help you in a moment. Uh, I, got, I, I got some regulars coming in, so I'll be with you in a second. Sure. We're going to be at the booth at the back. All right. Sounds good. I didn't get a chicken wing. Wait, li listen, don't ask get, too many no, questions. How do you get a whole chicken Mario, wing? Mario, he is a small business owner, okay? He says his hands are everywhere. And the chicken okay? wings that are on his glasses? The chick, your hands touch the wing, your hand mm. touch the glasses. Mm. Uh, this mm. is not, mm. this is not mm -hmm. rocket science. Mm -hmm. This is not, do mm -hmm. we have, <laughs> we have rocket science. I don't, do we, yeah, we went to space. <laughs> we went to space already. Oh, Take gosh. Continuity. <laughs> Yo, what happened? Sorry, it's uh <laughs> Sometimes I forget what goes on like in my world. I feel like I have visions of another realm, honestly. And it's a oh, little really? bit jarring. I don't know. You I... you would love Holly. We've been it's just been a wild week, you know, so really, but this booth near the back is fantastic. It's really good. Have you been have you been here before? Uh I feel like he's he's popped in and out, but he he don't sit down and eat very much often. So. We're gonna change that. Oh, um, <laughs> you're gonna get some food in you. You're, you're far too skinny. Let's go. We're gonna I'm get not, some. I'm uh, I'm, I'm yeah, fit. but you just—it's—it's it, it's like an emotional, oh. like, mm. like you just like I, I look at your face and I—I like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Had a whole protein bar. bar? Yeah. Honey, food does not come in a bar. It's food should does. be lumpy it's and beautiful does. and one out of his trench coat. Like, look. That's a bar. That's, Look at all the nutrients honey, in this shit. That is basically hardtack, and we are not in the army. So we're going to sit down. First of all, you're getting a milkshake, whether you want to or not. Uh, uh, and then, Oh, you got to try the burger. They got oh, this burger. No, no, no. I can feel myself becoming weak. Fast food. <laughs> <laughs> While well, y'all are uh, talking, um, three people walk in. There is, let's see here. There's two men, one woman. Uh, they are dressed in like off whites, browns, tans, colors. Uh, there seems to be one guy who is in the front who is a bit of a like a leader type look. He's like five six, um, skinny, lanky. Uh, he's got like furrowed brows, very dark wavy brown hair that kind of touches like almost touches his shoulders. Um, yeah, and he steps forward and is um, whispering to Mario. Uh, and Mario seems familiar with the person. Uh, Giovanni, who is like on the other side, another older man. He's got a little fedora on. Oh, he's that. watching like one of the, it's, there's two TVs. One of them's broken. Uh, he's got, you know, he's watching the one TV and he has the little newspaper and he's kind of giving a little side eye look to the people who walked in. And let's see here. The let's see. Uh, so the leader walks in and is like talking to to Mario, and he's saying, uh, you know, is there is there any other work that I could do for you today? Whatever we can do, I just I promise we'll pay you back as much as we can. And Mario's like, oh no, don't even worry about it. You know, I like the I like the work that you do, kid. You you helping kids off the streets and whatnot. I just, I think it's great. You just, I got a bunch of, bunch of crates in the back. Put it where you need to put it. You know the place. And, uh, and I'll get you, I'll get you something good. I'll get you something nice and fresh tonight. 
and uh, the man uh, he thanks Mario. He reaches a hand out and like thanks Mario and says, "I I really appreciate you. I I I, I believe in your power, sir. I really hope that uh, good things come your way." Um, is it all right? We'll just we'll just go the back way around this way, and um, you can see where he's pointing to is. There is an alleyway next to the restaurant, and that alleyway actually used to be an entrance to an old uh, subway entrance, but nobody really comes to this side of town, so it's been like blocked off. Like where the steps are, it's been bricked over, uh, and there's like a little archway that has also been bricked over. So it's just it's a empty place. Mario has turned it into like a little docking area for uh, trucks to drop off food, and then the restaurant's like a little bistro next to it that has decided to make shift the little entryway at, into like a patio area so there's like little mm -hmm. chairs <laughs> out there um but yeah that's where the guy is saying that he wants to go um to you know help mario load up some stuff um and yeah so while that little group is walking out i believe let's just say the rest of you guys come on in we're back here. We're in the back. Um, I think Sadie is um, going to do uh, that thing. You know, like that excitable teams too, where they jump over the back of the booth? No, mm. God. So <laughs> like, I so feel cool. like she's flying over just like... Yeah, just and like just kind of sits down. Yeah. And she's like, like hi, how is everyone? The darling, we're doing good. I mean... Hard to do worse after after the past two days, you know. Sure. So we just collect ourselves, get some food. Glad you all made it here. Mm -hmm. Holly comes in and she immediately like goes and rushes towards Margot and is just like, Margot, hi, and like just hugging her, playing with her hair. <laughs> hi, Holly. It's been it's been two hours. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's been two hours. Oh, That's it. Let I think less than that, but you know, <laughs> every second is minutes. a <laughs> I, You know, time flies. It really, it really does. And then Holly sees Knox and just immediately makes a beeline for him and just hovers over and stares. <laughs> He's terrified. <laughs> He's like, Hi. Yeah, yeah. Hello. What's good? I'm can, can I help you? I'm still willing to read your palm. I didn't get to finish before. I think it's good. I think I got a pretty good idea. You know? Are of, you sure? Yeah, I think I, you know, the whole life figured out. Just there's then. just, yeah. there's something that yeah. is calling to me to talk to you. He just like cuts his eye at Margot, like, yeah. This sure. is who I think that you'd really hit it off with, because you were talking you about say experiences. This and I doubt our friendship entirely. When those words came out your mouth, not gonna, not gonna lie. D well, yeah. is the experiences. Well, mm. okay. So Knox says that sometimes he has these experiences where he doesn't even know where he is, and I thought, oh my gosh, Holly does the same thing, and we are we're all so much more alike than we think we are. You know, like the entire world. Hand in hand, that what is that? We're just one small voice, or however it goes. I just think that that ties in so much more than we really think about. You can't I feel like... visions too. Nah. No. I feel no, no. <laughs> As Margo was doing that really nice like speech about humans, uh, Sadie wasn't listening. She was actually ordering some food. <laughs> like Margaret was like doing this, like we're all so similar, and Sadie was like, "Yeah, I'll take like a large coke." A, a, a um, large? And... You want a uh, silly straw? Oh shit! Yeah. A silly straw? Oh, okay. I'll take a shot of the strongest liquor you have here. So like we have a coke coke zero. Can I get You're the random having... sea platter? <laughs> You're having like espresso in Coca Cola. Oh my god. Well, baby, no, not that kind of shot. Not that kind of shot. Well, that's the only shot I got. I got espresso shots. <sighs> All right, I'll take I'll one. Take one. place, Tracy. <laughs> they don't got, you know, it's like homey. It's like... Can I get the surf and turf? I need to put alcohol on you, man. Um, I'm gonna be honest. We're <laughs> at the edge of the city. I don't really got a freezer for that. All right. I got, 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 I got
I really wanted a lobster tail. Yeah. Oh my god. You're gonna have to go to those fancy, pla fancy places in the middle of town. Nox just orders I, an espresso shot and it's like, perfect, this is great. I love everything about this place. <laughs> I just so want what? fries then. Just fries. Jeez, oh, yeah. Rio. We Two. have five yeah. American pie milkshakes for every single person here. Like one no. American pie milkshake for every single... Trust me, yeah, it's necessary. It. It's just, it's. I think oh, that's yeah. really what everybody needs. I put a little um, extra cinnamon on yours. I got it. I'm, I'm sorry. Mario, don't bring me that. Don't. <laughs> you haven't tried it. Tracy, I'll, I'll you have the ones that nobody drinks. Crystal. I'll have the ones nobody drinks. Um, okay. I'm sorry. Before you go, on your menu, it doesn't really say how much calories are in everything. What's a calorie? Calorie. Mm. Oh, oh, Mario, calorie is that measurement in food to see how, like, how happy the food makes you. And oh. uh, how much, yeah, yeah. How much it takes, like, the more calories, the, the longer you will survive. So... Mm. So, but yeah. don't you worry. Trust me, everything on this menu is gonna give you plenty of calories. So don't well, you worry. Well, you, you know what? Then maybe it's I'll just full. die. No, uh, uh, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not watching you starve on my watch. You say you're gonna die. No, I'll feed I'm, you. I'll feed it, you. It's on the house. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. she fully believes, he fully believes that you don't have money to pay, by the way, oh. Sadie. So he's like, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pay oh, for you. Don't worry about you're it. You're poor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not say that to him. No, he just he's whispering about it because he, he was leaning away from uh Holly, but then he was gonna lean back and tell her that she got his milkshake. <laughs> no, he, he, does, now... he does like think, oh, he thinks she's poor. He got laugh. Holly's making little uh, houses with the sugar packets on the table at this point. Stop. Me, Nox, like, look at, like, like, like she's making them? Over. Nox just, like, pushes over another, like, the tub that's across the table just pushes it over so she's got more to work with. To make a great team. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's the way he's terrified. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> Some about the whisper. Oh. Just... I want you to know she said it exactly like that, like big eyes staring right at him. <laughs> She's like, Make a great team. Like, oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? What deals have I made? Meanwhile, like Sadie has like leaned into Tracy and she's like, I don't wanna eat here anymore. <laughs> I don't eat here at all. I don't like it. Me either. Now, Mario, so that's five milkshakes, some fries, a Coke for Sadie. Oh, he's already and... working on it. He's already <laughs> okay. I he thought he was took still everything there. he said and said, yeah, sure. Just, <laughs> I got you. I'll improvise. All right. I'll but you feel much out. better when you have food in you. When you have food in you. While you guys are um, discussing all that, Gio Giovanni, who's sitting at the, there's like a little countertop he's sitting at, uh, changes the channel and the news is on. And it's talking about the uh, the murder case that happened earlier <clears throat> in the day the previous uh, on the edge of the forest and how um, they're having they have um, identified the body or thinking that they have identified the body they're just waiting for people to confirm um, and they're they're kind of confused on you know how this body looks the way that it does and uh, let's see who's <clears throat> Quick question. Hmm. So, what case was Knox taken off of? Was it all of this? Like, everything currently? So, he's not on it anymore? So, uh, there were there were three cases. Yeah. He, there was the one that was Edge of the Forest. Edge of the Forest. There was the, the North, Bridge North Bridge case. And then the Vandemore. The Vandemore. Those were all different places. <laughs> so, they, different they cases. thought it was So, separate. which one was he? He next? was on the Vandemore case. Mm -hmm. He was on also on the uh north bridge case okay he was able to link that those two cases were together the vandemore and north bridge mm -hmm. because the wound on the north bridge case is similar to the wounds of the vandemore case and then he was and he's not on the new one that happened because that happened mm -hmm. earlier no no, he was not. Martinez was. Okay. Oh my god, look at Martinez. Um, so, <laughs> and Martinez. he was taken off of the Vandermore case? Like, what was... He was taken off of both. So, all of it. 
currently all of his stuff all of those all of his you know his frontline stuff he's got back of the head shit but like frontline mm-hmm. cases happening right now he's not technically on them yeah so he is not on the Vandemore case anymore he's that has been taken up and he's either. not on the north bridge case either cool 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 with that information he's got a notepad out he has like moved closer to the tv he's left the table um my man's just taking notes and he's 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 he's, he's thinking up about yeah it. He's yeah all these things um yeah so remind remind you um yeah so martinez was on it and you found something from the case that martinez was on yeah um, i found something at, mm-hmm. at, 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 like at the uh uh um at the yeah it was like tucked house. under the desk yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It was mm-hmm. like i got it got it, got it. Yeah, yeah yeah um <clears throat> so yeah they are confused uh because it seems as though the body that they found has been very decomposed, mummified, petrified even. Um, but the person who they think it, it could be has only been missing for about five weeks. Mm. And that's what the, what the news really says. And Giovanni... No, go ahead. Oh, he, he wasn't going to say much. He was just like, you believe this? This is crazy. This is wild. <laughs> These kids around here. It, it, we should have gone back, you know, to when it was about, about 30 years ago. There wasn't as many people here. So busy, oh. all these murderers coming into town. Oh, for sure. For sure. What were you going to say, T? Hmm? For sure. What were you going to say, T? You had your hand up. Oh, uh, sorry. Um... I know they said the body was decomposed, but did they say, like, any description of, like, the person, anything on the TV? They did not. They have to wait to, for the people to identify the body. Family okay. has not come in yet. Um, but who they speculate it could be, they have not said the name. They don't want to, yeah. Okay. Lord, investigation stuff. But, yeah. Okay. And you said that, just to make sure, that the body <laughs> was decomposed... But it was only been missing for how long? Like it shouldn't have been that decomposed. Yeah, it's it's like mummified. It's it's very petrified. The body looks like it's been Years. decomposing for yeah. And this is at the. Sorry, what's the location of this one again? It was at the edge of the forest. Gotcha. right on the outskirts of town so it's like it's like there's like there's like a road this is where the town is and then this is where the forest is and it's like right on the edge there where the body was found makes sense okay Knox will like be taking notes and he'll come back to the table but um i think he's got like a hand on his phone he want he wants to make a call but like he's gonna wait a little bit okay all righty um, I don't know if this is too early yet, but I was going to say that I wanted to use my move premonitions to no, have a little vision at the start of the mystery. Mm-hmm. You can, you can. Uh-huh. Mm, let me scroll. Because I have a little something for you. What? Oh, a little something for me? A little something for you. Okay. All right. I rolled an eight. What is this? Oh, wait. I gotta add weird. Hold on. (laughs) That's a ten. A ten? It says, uh, on a ten plus, you get a detailed vision of something bad that is yet to happen. You take one forward to prevent it coming through (gasps) and mark experience if you stop it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are sitting at the table, uh, and making my little sugar houses. Making your little sugar uh, house. And uh, you put your you put your little sugar cubes down. Sugar cubes or sugar packets. Your, packets. <laughs> you put the packets down on the table, and you can't seem to take your hand off the table. Your hands go flat onto the table and your veins start to pulsate a little bit and change a little bit of color. Uh, you try to lift up your head and when you do, your eyes flick open and you're not inside of the diner anymore. Um, and all of you 
are sitting right next to to Holly, so you can see that her veins are pulsating with each. Yeah, Vasha's you know, like, pulse. y'all seeing this? Okay. <laughs> Is that High me? blood pressure. <laughs> this happened. <laughs> she needs some medicine. Holly, like, Holly, honey, you, you alright? Holly, as, is ibuprofen. Like, <laughs> as you are looking forward, Holly, your eyes start to gloss over a little bit and have uh, what color do they change? Like a little white? Like a or? white, yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> they uh, light, a little light of uh, white. And uh, when you look up, you are on all fours in your vision. You rolled a 10, yeah? Okay, cool. Yeah. You're on all fours. Um, you can feel once again that this is not your body that you're in anymore. Uh, you look around you and you're surrounded by buses. It's nighttime, um, just like as it is right now. Um, the street lights are on and you look down and you're on a gravel path. And when you look forward, this path leads to a gate that is open. You start walking towards that archway, towards the exit. And uh, you hear a noise. It's a chittering noise. It's kind of similar, something that you've heard before. Um, and as you walk closer and closer to the gate, you can see that it starts snapping and crackling. There's like a little bit of like a pink electricity coming out of the gate towards the ground. You see pinks and purples and blues all swirling together. And the more that you look at it, it looks like stars all dancing together, swirling in between the crackles of the electric, electric, electric pink. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it starts to fizzle in the middle and fade out and you can see Something different than what you saw before when you were looking through the gate. You see five people standing in various spots. And in an instant, you feel your body just lunge forward and you start chasing down. Mm. To the point where you get all the way up to the gate. And immediately, immediately your hands come up off the table. And your your pulse, uh, your light starts to to fade, and the eyes start to fade back, and you're back in the diner, right before you were able to hit the gate. So, at what point do we call somebody? Like, is it before they turn purple, or when? If she has, to, you know, she's I, having a stroke, cut her face, and it's like gonna drop. No, I think Could she just needs some food. If we just wait for Mario to bring it back. But is it a season? sugar? A holly like, like then snap his like, hands like on her <laughs> face, just like, hey, you, you good, you good. Oh, Stay with I me. had a vision. I had a vision. That oh, that was, was a weird. very violent thing. Okay, all right. Is this supposed to be normal? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, did you guys see that? Oh, we saw you. We saw you going yeah. through something. Is that what you mean? So we um, saw everything that happened. Are you okay? Do you want us to get you anything? No, but remember what happened in the hotel when I said that I was seeing things? I, but it was me, but it really wasn't me. I was in someone else's body. Yes. Yeah. It happened again. But this time I was like on the ground. Like I was on all fours. And I saw this like swirling stardust pink magic stuff going on and i was on some gravel and there was a gate and people and the last thing i saw was me running towards them hmm. Maybe I wow was that was honey i don't know what that means though holly when, we, when me and ace was talking in a bag did you drink a little bit of some of the, the spirit I no, I promise. There, I didn't have any extra. Not this time. I took a really bad acid trip in about uh, 68, but I, uh, I don't think <laughs> I've ever had one quite like that, so... 
I don't know what the aliens are trying to tell me, but I wish they could make my vision just a little bit clearer. Oh. Anyways, is the fries here yet? <laughs> They're gonna be here. They're gonna be here. So she's patting her hand. She's like, listen, honey, things will get clearer as time goes on. That's just life sometimes. Sometimes life is just a bit foggy and we're gonna get you your fries. <laughs> okay. And your milkshake. You can have mine, okay? You can have mine too. Tracy, you gotta try. No. You guys no, are so this... nice to me. And Molly starts <laughs> crying a little want. bit. She's like, you guys are so nice. <laughs> Wow. Fox is having his milkshake, though. I'm good. Man has Mario. had hard tack today and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Mario comes out with his little cart. It's got all kinds of food, everything that you guys order, and he's he's putting it all um, out for you guys. Uh, he's like, all right, American pie, American pie, American pie, American pie, American pie. Espresso, espresso, espresso. <laughs> he's just going through every single order oh in that manner. Oh <laughs> I know, I know. takes the American pie and just pushes it over to Holly. Holly, not to Holly. No, no, you push it to Knox, and Knox pushes them both to Holly as he downs his expression. Go make sure Holly takes one, two, the three shakes. shakes, put this three straws in it, and she's drinking all the straws at once. <laughs> that brings honey. I don't feel a uh, thing. <laughs> when he uh, he turns around and um, the light for a moment inside of the restaurant kind of flickers oh no uh and he looks around and he's like ah sorry about that i uh i don't know what's going on it's uh it's been doing that a couple nights in a row the lights have been acting funky uh but if anything happens i'll i'll, I'll have to close the dams guys i'm sorry i don't you know if the fridge goes out it is what it is be insane mm. it's all good. yeah you must have so much fresh food so yeah well no, I don't. Everything's frozen. But I, I mm. zap it real nice. I zap it real nice. The beef is the beef is not frozen though. The beef is one hundred percent good. Raw. That's why the burgers <laughs> are so good. One hundred percent. It's so good. Edible. One hundred percent. One hundred percent digestible. <laughs> it will go down. Oh Lord, will it go you down? You will be able to pass it. it. <laughs> With the grace of God. <laughs> you will sweat, but it will be okay. <laughs> you will sweat. You're sweating out all those toxins. That's, why, that's how you know it's good for you. It's actually quite healthy. It's a detox um, steak. <laughs> Mm. Tracy mm. comes over to Sadie. I'm not eating that. <laughs> Mago is fully in. Mago is eating the, the a burger, and actually, actually, she's pushing her apple pie milkshake towards Knox. She is determined that this that this boy <laughs> will have something in his stomach. You're gonna you're gonna drink this right now. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't Do want. I, take I, a I sip. Took espresso. Take it's a sip. My espresso. We, it's gone do you down. know what we've been through the last 48 hours? A this lot. isn't gonna kill you. A little <laughs> sugar isn't gonna kill you. Prom, prom, prom. Wait a few days and aliens or something might, but this won't. Take a sip. He he just like looks Margo in the eye for a hot few seconds. It's like, fine, fine. And he's, he That's starts, fine. he pulls out his little notes and he's scribbling away, but he like begrudgingly sips it. He doesn't eat his own food. He just occasionally takes like one of Margo's fries and just is fine. like without thought eating it. But if he could, he'd like to make uh, a call to one of his contacts in regards yeah. to what he saw on the news. So yeah, he'll stand up a little ways away from the table, but like still be close enough to occasionally sip the milkshake so Margaret doesn't kick his ass. Um, of course. Um, you want so you want to use a phone inside of the restaurant. You want to go to a payphone outside. Yeah, because he's only got a pager. So oh, pay. Oh, I don't know. Does, does is there a phone in here? <laughs> uh, it's it's Mario's. He he takes orders off of. It's oh, at the front sure. next to the register, so you can he'll let you use it. Okay, yeah, he'll go up and be like, "Hey, can I use your phone real quick?" Yeah, yeah, of course, it's right here. He pulls out his little black book. You know, he got all the numbers in. You know, <laughs> you got the number. Give let, give me the number. Seven, Seven two, two, three. <laughs> three. <laughs> I don't want to do a whole number because why should it be real? Is somebody going to get caught? <laughs> so yeah, he does, he does the whole thing for you. Uh, you go ahead. 
but he wants to call his contact at the morgue to see if they got this body in from um this recent thing and if they got mm-hmm. any ideas or if it's something he can get from the north bridge either way he just he wants to call up whoever his morgue contact contact is yeah we'll say um uh, her name is sylvia oh. Oh, you can hit them up for info plus one to investigation roll or small favors. So, info or small favors, and it could be like a, a roll or if, if you mm-hmm. ask enough. I'll try and pull it up here. This piano. <laughs> this, this, Isn't it spice? I'm just I love some. He's got like a light. little juice box. <laughs> <laughs> some light pads. I love it. Okay, let me see. Oh. While he's doing that, Tracy like sees him get up, and she's just watching him. I'm okay. She's watching. Like, okay. <laughs> he's a little sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Perfect. Just so he, he has to roll. Uh, I can call mm-hmm. him up for small favors, and I can call him up for information if I wanted to like specifically investigate something. But it would I, it would depend on if you tell me if I need to roll what I'm asking them. So, yeah, you go ahead and you call. It's Sylvia. Um, and she goes, uh, you know, hello, uh, this is uh, Mons La Morgue. Hey, Sills, Knox. Oh, Knox. Hi, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? So good. For the late call. You said for the late call? Yeah, well, you, you caught me at a good time. I was uh, almost heading home. Oh, I hope you get home safe. I just want, you know, I just want to ask a few questions about case and mm. all that. Kind oh, okay. On. Mostly, you know how it is. I'm mostly on it. Um, kind of on Knox. I'm on it. Are you asking me to break rules? Nah, nah. Nobody gotta know. I'm on the case. I'm on the case. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. It's you know fine. I can see the records of who's on the case. Well, you know, if they ain't changed it yet, I'm still on it today. So, you know, you know, Martinez, <laughs> I know he generally like going and bringing them papers in because he don't never do shit on time. You know, Martinez, so he probably... You probably didn't even bring any new information. So as far as you know, I'm on the case. Well, what case is it? I haven't even heard what case this is. What 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 do you need? A little bit about the North Bridge body. And the one that was found tonight over by the edge of the forest. I don't know if y'all got it and if you know anything. Edge of the forest. Hmm. I do know that case. Case is Freaking wild. I've never seen anything like this. It seems like I heard saw the news talk about how the body looks like it was decomposed and yet it's been yeah. a couple couple days, couple weeks. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So um an older gentleman actually found the body at the edge of the forest, called it in. Um apparently the body was not there the next day. He says he walks the same path every day. Um old man's name Giovanni. Uh, oh, yeah, he said he was on his way to... Hmm? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was on his way uh, to his regular spot, saw the body, called it in. Um, and then the body itself has been extremely dis- decomposed. But that's all the stuff that I can really tell you. That's all what, what the news knows. So was it gone? It, what do you mean, is what gone? You said it won't die the next day. You said Giovanni Oh, the previous day, it wasn't oh, there. Oh, you said the next day. I thought... I'm sorry. I misspoke. Not, that's you not know, good. You could. It's late of the day. It's I'm supposed... I didn't even know. eat dinner. Oh. Yeah. Eat some dinner. Come on now. I do. I do. I do. What you gonna make? I, you should cook some or go out. Are you... Are you asking me odd knocks? <laughs> you are, you are, I, was, I was genuinely concerned that you hadn't eaten yet and it's real late. Oh. Um... Yeah, I oh, wouldn't ask y'all like that, honey. Uh, right, I no, of course not. That. I over the oh. Phone. Oh. <laughs> Living for this story between the <laughs> the, 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 the more and the, the more <laughs> Sylvia is her name. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sylvia from the yeah. morgue yeah. for no. their relationship no. right no. now. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I think he's just like, I'll take you home anytime, but right now I need some information. Well, what? you give me give me a time, and I'll give you information. Oh, what's today? No, well, honestly, what's today? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it's Friday night. What you doing? What you doing tomorrow night? 
Tomorrow night I might be free. So I'll work around, around <gasps> some might. stuff. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm free too. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, so what I found. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be. I don't think he's gonna be free. I. I'm just making suspicion he's not gonna be free, but I feel like that's spicy. That's why I didn't say a different day. <laughs> well, I need a description of her now. Like I'm, I what she look like. I don't know. I feel like she oh, didn't even exist twenty minutes she? ago. Who is she? She's. So, let's see. I don't know. We just created her. So she's. she's Let's Sylvia. See. Sylvia, I feel like Sylvia's like she's like five four. She has very I feel like she has little elf features. Um she is very much like I feel like she's very fluid with her movements. She's like she's like uh let's see, let's see. I don't know why. I see her with like silver hair for some reason. It's dyed though. She likes to like love like a little pop of fun. Oh, um yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's she's got very honey eyes. Um, I feel like she's. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just we just created her. That's, that's what some, I feel like she looks. Some Alice Cullen vibes. I'm taking that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some Alice Cullen vibes. Let's see. Um. So yes. So let's see what what you what she tells you is that. Uh, was that they found something on her. It was some kind of flyer. Mm -hmm. On the body. Mm-hmm. It seems to be... It seems to be connected to a type of group or... religious thing. She's not very sure. She didn't get too much information about it because she's... Her, her stuff is to focus on the bodies. Um, but she tells you that they, she, you know, I heard that there's a flyer that was found in the body of the, the person that we think it is, uh, Adana. Donna, hmm, let me see what the last name is. Adana is the name of the person the body found or? The, per the body mm -hmm. itself, they believe the person's name is Donna. She's mm -hmm. only been missing for a little while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Donatello. Mm -hmm. Donatello. I think, I think he, he says Donna. He's like, Donna Jones? Yes, yes, that's exactly it. Yeah, okay, okay. I saw a missing flyer about her. Last yeah. Thing, even the corner store on 23rd. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Well, we... Uh -huh. So he looks super flexed. <laughs> so gently, like, oh. Wow. Well, you don't say. <laughs> you're back, howdy. Sweet. Oh, you're back, sweet. Your paws How like. Well. Oh. Your paws like. <laughs> <laughs> so your paws just. <laughs> and he just went to a pout. <laughs> <laughs> I think the last thing uh, I said was that he, he said Donna and then said. Like her last name and then said last slain on the 23rd yes yeah um and yeah that's that's all that i can really say i don't really know if there's anything else oh um mm. there's one other piece but maybe i'll save that for you when i see you oh you keep them secrets mm -hmm. i do i'm a woman what is she without her secrets true words never been spoken all right eight o'clock Eight o'clock. Okay, I'll pick you up. Oh, okay. Oh, and Jennifer? <laughs> huh? And Jennifer? You get the right, Jennifer. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so y'all hang up. And back to the table. <laughs> Jen is water damaged right now, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. how is Jen working? Like, <laughs> so you know. Jen's great. Jen's fine. Jen's she took a shower. She actually, took a bath. She just cleaned. It was mostly yeah. on Tracy, honestly. <laughs> Tracy actually saved his his leather of his seats. If we're if we're thinking about, so, you know. Oh my god! Thanks for that one, Tracy. Mm -hmm. I hope there's mold in Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> <Not mold. laughs> 
Basically, um, that's people. I feel like Sadie has like just taken a try of the apple pie milkshake, and at mm -hmm. first she's like, okay, no, it's it's like it's not. It's not she fed she takes another sip and then I feel like she gets like a, cl like a whole clump of sugar or something or like syrup just straight in and it's just so sickly sweet that she's like mm -mm. Mm. It's good right why would you drink that I told you <laughs> not to drink it sorry good. sorry Look at it's the face of someone falling in love you like it it's good mm -hmm. it's good make a winner every time Mario <laughs> Every Good, thank time. You. Thank you. So good. So yeah. Good. I was uh, gonna say, uh, Holly asks Margot for a pen. Okay, what color do you want? I have quite a few. Uh, she's rifling through her bag. I got uh, the color coded ones. Surprise me. And the gel ones. Okay, what what color your eye is your eyeshadow today? Uh, hot pink. Okay, give me two seconds. All right, here we go. We have the hot pink one. <gasps> Thank you, Margo. I love seeing um, little matchy things like that. I think Holly is going to draw out her vision, like on the paper tablecloth. If that's, <laughs> I'm thinking, like in the diner, that's they have those paper that's ones. That's different. <sighs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for or sure. or yeah, the definitely. placemat, or the place like those paper placemats that you get uh, mm -hmm. that has like the ads on the front, and she flips it over, and she'll start like, I want her to draw the gate and the buses and the and try and draw the people and just like show everyone what she saw. I feel like she's energized by the three milkshakes that she's just chugged. <laughs> and yeah. now she's, she's munching on... Uh, yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're empty. And uh, she's now chewing on her right. cheese fry. So she's quickly drawing out um, her vision that she saw in this hot pink pen. Perfect. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see... You said she also draws the people, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the best of her ability. Perfect. Uh, I think since Margot knows this, mm, mm. Margot, go ahead and roll for me. Let me try to see what you're gonna roll, though. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. Then, uh, so I got an eight. Am, am I adding anything to that? <clears throat> yeah, roll your sh uh, sharp. Yeah, go ahead and roll your sharp. Okay, so uh, that's a nine. A nine? Okay, perfect. You, nine. uh... On a nine, I guess it'll... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm having you investigate. On a nine, I'll give that to you. Um, you take a look, and it looks very familiar to you. And it actually looks like the patio and loading area between the two restaurants, where oh, the people that... are, where the people are standing. She's sketching. Are you? You do still lives? What's do that? Still alive, the landscape when you draw what you see, because that's a lovely sketch of the of the patio over there. Oh, uh, I was just drawing what the Dude. vision was in my head. Oh, that's outside. Well, I mean, if you, I don't know if you remember when you came in, darling, but that looks a lot like the outside of this place. Oh no, Doing that I from didn't memory, even know. That's amazing. No, from from the vision. Current, so not from memory, from. Yeah, wow. I didn't even really look outside. You're, you're very talented. This is very good. Like, hey, Tracy, wouldn't you say that this is outside? Say while you're tree. <laughs> it's for realism. Margo asks while Tracy is chewing. Tracy, would you? <laughs> Let me see. Do you think yeah, that looks like outside? Yeah, you're right. That does look out like this outside. Is a, yeah, yeah. Say to you, a little detective, doesn't this look like outside? Look at the lovely little drawing Holly has made. Um, she's gonna like a twist around and have a look at it. And then glance to like the window and be like, um, yeah, yeah, it could be. Um, the dimensions all add up. The characteristics of the place really go for it. I mean, you know, no one would really call it like a professional piece, but the characteristics of the place is still there. 
Oh, I didn't know you would all like my trunk so much. Um, sure, it's great. Dang. While you're looking at the drawing, uh, the TV flickers off. Uh, the lights inside of the restaurant start to flicker as well. And uh, you hear Mario in the back in the kitchen like, Oh, damn it! <laughs> <Just upset. laughs> and so, uh, well, that happens. Uh, let's see. Mm. Go ahead and roll a, a investigate. Ooh. Anyone who wants to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. A sharp, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Six. It's so dark in here, I can't see much. Or read a bad situation as well, if anyone wants to go investigate or read a bad situation. Nine. Mm-hmm. Nine? Mm-hmm. Eleven. <sighs> Seven. Uh, I'm just trying to bring up my sheet for sharp. Ooh, okay, ten. Nice. Oh, oh, right. Um, okay. So everybody who had a mixed success, you're looking around, the entire restaurant is (laughs) dark. Um, you look out, and you see light emanating. You look out the front window, and you see light emanating from the uh, alleyway. Uh, Mm -hmm. it is like a bright pink light. Um, it's kind of it's kind of pulsating on the ground. Uh, people who got a tent and up, you can see uh, cats scattering, running different places, um, getting away from whatever's going on back there. And um, you also hear a buzzing noise as well. It's coming from the back of the restaurant or outside in front. Uh. For those who've, yeah, it's coming from outside of the restaurant. It's mm-hmm. so like through the window, where basically the mixed success people are seeing that weird light you said through the window. Yeah, if it's mixed success, you're seeing like when you look out the front window, mm-hmm. you can see from the side on the pavement that there's like a pink light that's kind of pulsating that you can see it's coming from the alleyway. Mm-hmm. You can see it kind of like like shining on the buildings in front of you. Um, but it's it, you can tell it's coming from the alleyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think Knox is like grabbing. Um, <clears throat> I think he, he presses his uh, recorder to just start recording, and like he's got his gun and he's like got it uh, like hand on it kind of deal, and he's like shifting towards the nearest exit to go to, go to the alley. I'm assuming is that like on the side of the building. Yeah, it's on the side of the building. He's just like, um, he's just like, I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna, hold on, hold on. Let me just let me see what's going on out there. Is that necessary for you to have the firearm he, out? Is it? When he, pull, he ain't pull it out. He's just got a hand on it. Like he's just ready to go. <laughs> okay. At, like, the, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's go there. outside. There's. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. He, <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. He's on the window. <laughs> Whatever handles. Probably out, just go close to it. <laughs> Can I? I wanted to use um. A cult confidential, the first time in a mystery, you observe a minion monster or phenomenon. You may ask one question from the investigative mystery list. Would this count as a phenomenon in action? Pink light? And only appearing? Yeah, I would think so. I think so. I would say so. Phenomenon? Phenomenon? Okay, I just ask one question from the read about situation list. If I could read them. I'm asked what what's being concealed here. What's being concealed here? Um, is he is he viewing it? Is he's, he did he go out? He's going like to the window, and like pressed against it and looking out. And if he needs to, because if you so we can't, can we see that? I'm assuming there's like windows all around the building. So is, is there a way to go to see that? It, the window is only up front. Mm-hmm. The sides of the building do not have windows. So when you look, you can see that the light is emanating from there. Um, but, and you walk past here, I'll tell you that. And you know exactly that it's just a gate. It's not, it's like a, it's like the, the gate that was there to go to the subway um, that is bricked over. And, you know, the loading area, the, the, the chairs 
Um, so if he would want to, to yeah, I think if he, if he can see from the window, he gonna slip out the door. He gonna be like, okay, right back. Um, and he's like crouched, leaned against the wall, kind of like, you know, how cops do when they stay out of sight and shit. Um, mm-hmm. and he's he's gonna go see what he can see. Yeah. So when he peels around the corner, um, he sees. If it, ooh, pass- grab a mirror. <laughs> Hold the mirror up so he doesn't have to like, put his head around the corner. Very <laughs> it's looking one of camp it's right in the eye. <laughs> it's actually Margot's mirror, like one of his one of the little hand mirrors for makeup that yeah. uh, she left at his house once, so he kept it. So he's got a mirror yes. around the corner. There we go. I love that. <laughs> um. So Hello. hold on one second. You good? Mm-hmm. Got pink and orange flowers on it. Oh, of course it does. Okay. Of course it does. There's no um, more eyeshadow in there. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, so, it's a floral. Just a little bit. <laughs> so he gets up to the, bu- the side of the building. Uh, he holds up the mirror and what he sees, you know, he sees the cats, just the little cats skittering, scattering, hopping off walls. You know how they get scared and they just, you know, bounce off every wall before they run. Right. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? Just run. So um, what he sees is the archway where people used to enter for the train station has like pink electricity forming around uh, inside of it. And there is purple, blue, uh, gold swirling inside of it. Um, and that's what he sees. It sees, he sees like, yeah, that's what he sees. Okay. He won't snap a picture. Snap a picture? Yeah, go ahead. Snap that picture. But he gon' uh, back his ass right back up because <laughs> everybody's inside. He's gonna be go back to the table um, and just kind of be quietly whispering, showing him the photo. I don't know if we, hmm, I don't know actually if you have, you probably have to develop it. He'll have, He'll have to develop it. it. Okay. But he, t- he took it. It was there. Um, he it. describes what he says he sees to everyone. Like he goes back to the table and he's just like saying it all with light in the archway and like what's going on exactly what i saw inside my head you saw five people uh-huh see and she shows the drawing and there's like the five people oh, that's in the nice, that's a real nice drawing you do that from it's memory. nice isn't it no <laughs> it's not not from memory it's from it's when your brain like you saw it and now now you drew i it. saw it mm-hmm. you got the, the yeah. little portal thing it's a portal. It's kind of a thing. you nice. think it's a portal it looked like it. It's, in, it's in specifically in the archway. I feel like you walk through and you go in. I don't know why I'm so or, weird about that. I'm, that's freaking weird. That's not... You or, think it's a speakeasy? Like a lit, like a nightclub. You know, maybe it's a... Yeah. Got a secret. Oh, it's definitely considered yeah. exactly like Marco's really right. Like neon lights do a lot of weird tricks on the eyes. I'm gonna go see it, I, and um, Holly, Holly gets up and out. goes. Holly gets up Check and goes. Out. He's following. <laughs> Vaughn is like grabbing you. onto the back of Holly. He doesn't stop her, but he's following. <laughs> he's made a. She's little like, lady I want to see this in real okay, life. Right, okay, now. okay, hold on, hold on. Just do it. Just come here. Do it. Do it like I'm doing. Lean against the wall. All right. You crouch down. Make yourself look real small. And you take this mirror and you hold it up so you you ain't you don't know what's over there. Okay. Hold the mirror up and you stay right here and you look through the mirror. All right. Sadie has followed and just ducked her head around the corner. I swear to you, push his head back in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting here. At this, shouldn't we walk in if it's a nightclub? We should walk inside of it. That's just why we're peeking at it like we're doing something wrong. There's nothing wrong with partying. I don't have valid ID. You're a child. Uh, <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Baby, my purse, I'm 19. My purse, very oh, big. Don't worry, I got something in here. We'll put some like eyeshadow on you or something. No. You'll be fine. No. No. No you could draw one of those mustaches on it. Is it in the <laughs> movies they put on a mustache for disguise? Wait, wait, I have a disguise kit. <gasps> a disguise kit? Uh, John is like so trying funny. to be like stealthy, to be <laughs> quiet. They just While she reaches <laughs> for her disguise kit, you hear a huge clap and <gasps> crackles and pops. Um, and where's Tracy? Tracy said she's in the back. She's like, mm-hmm. she's, I'm going over she's, there. She's, but she's, she's outside. outside. Like, Tracy, yeah, but here. she's like behind. I'm like, mm-hmm, go ahead. She, okay. She's outside. She's got the espresso. She's cups like in her. the door, just like. Yeah. All right. <laughs> in the door. You're not near it. Okay. So, um, let's see. Uh, I think who can Holly. see the portal? 
it's Holly who has like the mirror. Sadie peeked out, but like so. Vaughn pushed her okay. down, so it'd be Sadie and Holly and like Vaughn that are like actively looking. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Who's like behind them? Like, come on. Just like, what if we just go. walk? Like, let's we go. go. <laughs> it's like, it's like a bouncer and Margo. Can Margo see it? What if we don't? I don't think Margo can see it yet. I think she's just like, come on, move, Margo everybody. Can't. She's not wearing her tallest okay. heels today. She's like, is it a traffic jam? Come on. <laughs> you can see over Vaughn just fine. So, she's tiny. And she's like, while, we can go always go back. <laughs> while uh, you guys are looking, yeah, there's big, big cracks and pops that's happening. And uh, when you look at it, because you know it's jarring, you look back and you see what's going on in there. Uh, it's flashing. It's like very, very quickly. The 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 images inside of this this little gateway is a flashing flashing very quickly. Um, it's sending a gust of wind because of how quickly these images are passing by. And even though it's it's sending wind back and your hair is flowing back. You also feel yourself get sucked in almost like your gravity your sense of gravity is no longer putting you towards the floor uh and kind of pulling you more towards this portal um everyone let's see the four of you uh tracy i feel like tracy has been pushed up against the wall but the four of you who are in view of the portal role act under pressure for me mm -hmm. What what do I add to act under pressure? Cool. That's a great question. Cool. Uh, cool. I got an eleven. Ooh, oh. Oh. I got an experience point because that's a three. Wow. Oh, yeah, wow. me too. I got four. Hey. Oh. All right. Um. So, <laughs> what did Knox get? Knox six got a s eight. 6.28 and then he has no cool um but if possible could Knox try and use protect someone for Sadie and push her back okay like, it would be a role yeah. but like can he try and like just straight up just shove her back as far as he can towards Tracy uh or whatever direction yes or I'll maybe. say but it's what happened it has to be a role yeah so it depends yeah. <laughs> go ahead you fail, you get sucked in too. I mean, ah. I'm going either way. It's okay, we're going together. It's okay. It's Listen, okay, the first dice is a six. Okay. Be, 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 okay. 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 What, what is tough? What is tough? What am I tough? Am I tough? I am I no. tough? He's a I pussy bitch. Wish I I... Fucking mouth because he's a little bit tough, okay? So, he has so, something in his stomach now. That's a 10. Ooh. I'll protect someone. Perfect. Yeah. So, so um, master effect is all imposing danger. If there is any, it's focused on him. And he's shoving. He's shoving her back. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Um, so yeah, you uh, shove Sadie out the way. Uh, she is put in front of the building. So she is now like being sucked up against the building as well. Next, to Tracy. Um, Knox, you get pulled forward um and margo as well margo unfortunately because knox was able to push sadie out the way you flew forward like behind his back uh, so yeah. you're going first before him uh All you right. guys knock into a couple of chairs um as you're being sucked towards this portal um and you guys both get uh one harm okay Fair enough um Holly, you are feeling in your element, though. You like you step out, and you're like, "Wow, <laughs> <laughs> my heart will go on." <laughs> oh, wow. Um, and you, I feel the the chairs on this little patio are like bolted to the ground, so you guys can grab onto them. Um, and you guys stop yourselves. You're closer to the portal, though. You get a clear upfront view. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So you see the images, though, as they, they were going really quickly. Boom, 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 boom. And you couldn't really make them out. You're just flashes of colors, and they're slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. And you start to see images. You start to see different places, places you've never seen before. Landscapes, plants that have just weird things that you've, you can't even place. Skies, 
colors that you've never seen, animals, ah, humanoid creatures, each image, just something different that is just, you've, what? <laughs> like, what is this? Uh, and yeah, then, uh, anymore. <laughs> no, no. Uh, and the, you can see, um, no, that's okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, then it, the lights, it starts to get a little bit more blinding as each uh, image starts to pass by. It's very, very bright. You're starting to have to cover your eyes a little bit. And uh, it's like a brown, red swirl. And the image starts to form again. And it looks like like a brown landscape, um, brown walls. You see a guard type person in the, the corner um, of one of the sides of the gates. And you see, you see these little creatures with very long fingers uh, moving stones back and forth. Um, and you see a person also moving stones back and forth. These creatures also, they have like very long hoods. You can't really see their face, very long snout. Um, and uh, this person is also in a hood. It's very, it's brown, has like straps of red across it. Uh, and their skin is a very dark uh, brown. And uh, she has beautiful, beautiful, like, let's say like, 4C hair, maybe it's like been pin curled. Typically, it looks like it's been pin curled down. Um, and she is putting stones back and forth, looking at this portal in shock, and looks up and sees you, Margo. Huh? And, and you know this face. I do know it, this face. The image is gone. Um, and it's another place. And then uh, it starts to crack a little bit. The portal starts to crack a little bit. And uh, now sparks are flying out of it. You guys got to get back. Uh, let's see. You two will act under pressure one more time. And actually, Holly. I'm going to say, can I roll to do some weird stuff? Uh, what, what, what's the weird stuff? It's I want, magic, I want to, oh, yeah. Roll, you have to roll act under pressure for me first, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, uh, to okay. Is act under pressure, cool. I, I need to. Yes, it is. Oh, I'm, I'm so silly. I just realized they have it in bullet points next to the nine. thing. You got nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seven. Damn. Oh no! Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh no! Okay, um, Margo, I feel like as though you once again you do get sucked back. Uh, you you knock into another table. You hit. You get another one of uh, harm. Uh, knocks. Woo! Woo, baby! Mm -hmm. Swoop! <laughs> you get <laughs> swooped up, and you are flying towards this gate. Uh, and you get all up, you get next to it, you actually smack up against it, and it zaps you, and you get ricocheted all the way across the street. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Airborne. Yeah, you are airborne. You are, you literally <laughs> fly over Holly. Uh, you get two points of damage there. Holly, Mix, you get, you get, so you slide a little bit forward, but here's what happened. After Nox actually hits the portal, it it uh, it pops, and the lights fizzle out. Oh, like a bubble. Mm hmm. The... Mm hmm. It disappears. A... It fizzles out. Um, it's still kind of it's still kind of fizzling a little bit. Um, and Holly, since you are close to it, your your necklace starts to feel a little warm and the pink electricity goes straight to your necklace and oh. you. <gasps> uh you holly your veins start to pulsate once again your oh. eyes go white once again and your body raises up you're actually floating what in the portal 
it's pink, it's purple, and it fizzles open. The image is a little blue, and you open up, you see there's a bunch of buses. Your stone is leading you closer and closer. Uh, has Sadie and Tracy done anything? Have they seen anything? I don't know. We were like, we, we like, like this. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But you guys, it, it, it pushes you against the wall. You are able to move. So at any point, if you wanted to move, it's just you, you'll have to just like, eh. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Just, <laughs> I thought we were just like, No, no, no. You're able I to move. We I'm so sorry. Like no, I'm oh, so okay. sorry. So um, if you were at any point during that, did you want to move before I continue? I, I'll be honest, I don't think Sadie wanted to move any closer to the portal that was sucking people in. She was probably mm. looking, however, for the weird projector. She's like, wow, this projector's <laughs> really good. And then you see not yeah. after you say that, you please, you say that out loud. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's amazing. It's oh. mangoes of flying feet. <laughs> uh we're gonna have is, to reverse a little bit. I'm so sorry, y'all. I, I, the, the moment that I actually was going to build up to, flubbed it a little bit. Nox, you go flying, okay? Before the portal even fizzles out, it speeds up again and starts to rumble. And it pops, and y'all hear a bunch of different noises that come out. Uh, this is before Holly starts lifting, okay? Uh, Zoom, 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 zoom. That's what you're hearing, and you're seeing a bunch of different creatures fly out of this portal. They are zooming out of this portal. Some crawling up walls, some going down the alleyway, some going running past you guys. Um, yeah, just spiral, just going all different directions into the city. Then pop, boom, it fizzles out, and then Holly, it strikes you, and you start to lift up, and the last image that you see is that is the bus station the bus depot uh yes sorry is margo able to get up is like the air still knocked out of her or whatever it's stationary right now because the portal is open so sorry i dropped my phone it's stationary right now you are able to get up um i try the... hmm? i think margo would just be like really like freaked out by everything Mm -hmm. Don, I think she tried to. She'd see what was happening with. If I can see what's happening with Holly, I think she tried to grab her ankle or something to pull her down. Uh, yeah. So Holly's behind you because you slipped forward a little bit. Um, okay, okay. Okay. So Holly is behind you, so you can try and grab her. And I, I would like to act under pressure. Uh, that would be. Let's let's let's. Or would see that be help. the help? Okay. Okay, so that, listen, I am not rolling great today. That okay. is a four. Experience. Experience. Oh, but this, this is true. So true. This is a four. Uh <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, unfortunately, you grab uh, Holly's body and you get shocked a little bit. I'm so sorry. I keep giving you harm. You take a harm. Uh, the take the power the that is no. that is going through Holly, your body no. cannot take right now. Um, bam, 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 bam! But you, you, you get a little, you get a little zap, and you look uh, at the portal. All of you who can see the portal, you see a huge tick the size of a dane, not on a gravel again. pathway. It's you, and those of you who've been in the city, you know that this is the bus depot where the buses, um, you know, typically go out to town and pick up people, what buses do. Uh, so the, it's on the gravel pathway um, and it's, it sees you guys and it is running towards you. Um, and it steps out through the portal. And that's where we're gonna leave off today. Oh. Ooh.